everyone and welcome back to my art channel. Today I thought I would do a little unboxing and review of these um, Fine Tech Gold paints. Um, they have actually rebranded recently-ish, I guess, uh, to Colero, Colero, I don't know. And normally I wouldn't do something like this, but I, I kind of bought these on a whim and I wanted to justify that by making a video, so here we go. Okay, so first things first, this is the packaging. This is how it came out of the Amazon box. It's really nice. Looks like the pans are come loose in there. So let me just pop this thing open. Uh, that's a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> okay, yeah, this does not wanna get open. There we go. So, yeah, it just slides out. Ooh, and it comes in a nice, plastic case Let's open that up yeah so all the pans come loose um, but they've got this little circle here that I think will just snap onto this yep I have no idea this is the correct order or not but this is the order that it came in so this is the order i'm gonna keep them in and hopefully this is correct Ta -da! all right now i want to swatch these but i've heard that the best way to use these paints is to wet them beforehand so i'm gonna go ahead and spritz these with a little water let them activate for a little bit so this is what the back of that packaging said this is supposedly what the colors are. Um, again, hopefully they are in order. That would be very convenient if they were. I'm gonna start by swatching right on the package because these are supposed to be somewhat semi-opaque and they show up really well in black. So I'm just gonna work this in here. Maybe I let these sit for a little bit too long after squirting the water because they're looking kind of dry. So let me just work this in here. I think that's good. We're gonna assume this one is the Tibet Gold and it does not like this material for painting on. So let's scratch that. And ooh, yeah, that's really nice. Moving on to the Inca Gold. I just really love the way that the pigment kind of moves around in the water, the little, well, well, not pig, maybe pigment, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep swatching. You really do have to work the paint into work the water into the paint and then into the brush because oh that's just sort of picking up picking up what's there so this color set used to be called the fine tech gold but i think when they rebranded to coloro they changed it to pearl colors because as you can see this isn't really gold we're kind of we're kind of moving into the silver territory here yeah, and then this one is just called sterling silver yeah and that's not showing up very well on camera but it looks really pretty in real life it's got a nice shine to it yeah since it's so warm they're pretty much dry now but you can see when i move it how metallic they are that's that's really nice <laughs> Uh, I, I really like the silver. I wasn't expecting to like the silver so much, but I really do. Um, I am looking forward to painting with these. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was my uh, unboxing and swatching. And now let's paint a picture with these. All right, and here we are in the voiceover speed paint portion of the video. I probably should have written down some notes as far as what I wanted to say about the painting and using the paints, 
but I did not. So we're just gonna wing it and it might be a little messy, but that's okay. It's been a week since I painted this before I have had a chance to finish editing and record the voiceover for it. So forgive me if I'm a little distant, I guess, because it has been a week since I've used these paints. But overall, I had a lot of fun with them and I had a lot of fun with this painting. And I actually, so there is, quite a bit before we actually get to using the metallic paints because this watercolor painting became a bit more involved than I originally intended for it to be, but I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I'm like ridiculously happy with it. And it, it's, I mean, it's probably the most detailed watercolor picture that I've done in full. Yeah, I think it is. So um, that's where we're at with that. As far as the actual paints, um, the actual Coloro Pearl Colors metallic paints, I guess I don't really have much to say about those in particular. I've never used any other kind of metallic paints, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but as far as first impressions go, I, I feel very good about them and I'm definitely gonna be using them more in the future. It's, especially because I spent like 20 bucks on them. So yeah, gonna be doing more of that. The one thing I will say about using the metallic paints is that then it's not gonna look, the, the art won't look as good as a print because the whole thing with the metallic is that it it's shiny, but you can't, there's no shiny printer ink that you can put in there. So if I were to make them prints, like I would probably want to do a limited run of embellished prints. Um, and I mean, that's something that I've been thinking about. And so if anybody is interested in getting this art as an embellished print, let me know and maybe I'll set up some sort of, um, online store that's not my Redbubble so that I can print them here at home and then like hand embellish them. Uh, yeah, so that that's something that I've been thinking about because I really like this one. And maybe sometime down the line I'll sell the original, but for now I really like it and I want to keep it and I need to get a frame for it. So here we're actually getting into the metallic portion of the metallic paints, um, or the metallic portion of this painting. And um, what I what I do really like about these paints is that they are semi-opaque, so you can lay down a few layers like I did in front of the whale submarine thing. And so it looks like it's in the foreground, but it's kind of sheer. And I imagine if I did put down one more layer of that, it could have been totally opaque. And actually when the light is hitting it directly, it is pretty opaque. But then um, you can also water it down and make sort of a more sheer shimmer like I did with the fins on the whale submarine thing. And also I, I kind of blend it out um, around her eye to make it look more like it was glowing. And then just, the little finishing touches that I added to the painting. I had to redo the girl's teeth in gouache because I had accidentally covered over it. But I think that turned out rather well. Um, and for this painting, I decided to do a thin, dark outline in the watercolors just so that I, because I didn't want to deal with any other textures, but it looked unfinished if I didn't have an outline. So I think that was a nice compromise. And as you can see by the date, I did this a little over a week ago. And here are some glamour shots of 
the metallic paint in action. I wanted to show it in front of a few different light sources. And overall, I'm really happy with this. Um, again, let me know if anybody is interested in some embellished prints and I can make that happen. Thank you so much for watching. Links for all of the supplies that I've used will be down in the description. And like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna see more from me, and thank you so much for watching this whole thing. Wow, I'll see you guys next time, bye.